Hello students, welcome to Easy Elimu, Learning Simplified, I'm your teacher, Mr. Stanley Mbongo. So uh, students, uh, in this uh, wonderful and exciting uh, episode, I want us to look at uh, character and characterization in Act 1, Scene 2. Remember we are still dealing with the first act, uh, having looked at Scene 1, now we are uh, uh, looking at uh, the second scene. Uh -huh. And uh, what we are going to uh, do in this video is simply to look at the character portrayals and again the character, uh, I mean the roles that are uh, played by the various character that we have in this scene. So dear students, brace up for uh, this wonderful uh, lesson. Now, starting with Mosi. So we have a number of characters. Uh, we have a number of characters uh, in this scene. So uh, uh, we have Morsi. Then uh, the, the the scene also uh, 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 mentions or talks about uh, all the all the top leaders or the key leaders of uh, Maracas municipality who are attending uh, an urgent meeting that has been um, that has been uh, you know organized and called by, by uh, the mayor himself, Mayor Mosi. So, beginning with the mayor as the first character in this scene, what are some of the roles that, uh, that he plays? What are some of the uh, character roles that uh, Mosi plays so, as a mayor? So, we are told that uh, first, he builds themes such as blackmail, impunity, corruption, and fear. So, uh, the reason why we have got some of these themes, that is the theme of blackmail, impunity, corruption. Remember, we had discussed them uh, while uh, looking at uh, the thematic concerns in the scene. So, uh, when we talk about, uh, let's, uh, let's say, blackmail, for example, huh, where uh, Mosi threatens, uh, that is uh, the rift, when uh, they uh, differ, huh, when they have got different perspectives and uh, they uh, disagree, that is uh, with. Uh, he disagrees with uh, both Ted and Seymour. He threatens them and even uh, tells them uh, that uh, he is the smoke that thunders, so he can do anything uh, to anyone. So that is blackmail and impunity is, is uh, seen. Uh, that is uh, impunity and corruption is seen uh, in some of the uh, uh, some of the poor leadership qualities that. Uh, the key leaders have under his watch. Again, there is also fear. So he builds the themes, uh, those uh, for major thematic concerns. So he also portrays other characters, such as Ted and Seymour, as being selfish, corrupt, and greedy. Remember in the newspapers, it was uh, Ted and Seymour who were uh, mentioned, uh, that is, whose names uh, were mentioned uh, with regards to, uh, you know, uh, not rendering services to the public and uh, you know stealing of uh, public properties or public funds etc so uh mostly also builds the plot uh, as we wait to see how the rally will end and how they will solve their case so remember they are now uh, aware that uh, the samaritan app has indeed started exposing them so he builds the plot so uh, as readers we are eager to know, we are eager to know how they come, uh, how, will they, uh, how maybe uh, they will come up with a strategy to solve, to solve these cases that uh, they are having. So uh, another role he plays is that uh, uh, it is through, uh, through uh, that is mostly that we have styles such as irony, satire, metaphors, uh, that is looking at the dialogue uh, that they are having. So what are some of uh, his, uh, that is character traits? So number one, uh, he is abusive. So when we say that um, he's abusive, uh, it simply means that he uses some unpleasant words and expressions. Words and expressions that are not polite, that sounds like, you know, insults. So we are told that he insults Seima and Ted uh, uh, by, by, by uh, you know, uh, uh, calling them fools or addressing them as fools. Look, you fools. So that is on page 35. He also says, you senseless thieves. Uh -huh. 
So that is uh, an abusive language or unpleasant language that uh, many people uh, wouldn't, uh, you know, want to hear. So he's also temperamental. Uh, he cannot uh, manage his anger. So we are told that he shouts at Seymour and Ted uh, when he calls them, you, sense, uh, you senseless thieves, you were elected just the other day as poor as a jig infested hoodlums. So he says this at the, at the top of his voice with a lot of, uh, with a lot of uh, you know, temper. Then uh, he's also proud, uh, pompous, he calls himself smoke that thunder. So this to mean that nobody and nobody can, can stop him. So uh, on to uh, the next, uh, 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 you know, trait is that the mayor is informed. So uh, the mayor seems more informed than his staff. That is, uh, uh, when it comes to uh, following up uh, the matters that uh, are, you know, in Maracas municipality. So he even reads uh, newspapers. I'm not really sure whether he whether he does uh, 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 that. Uh, because uh, in most cases, remember, uh, there's a time he asked uh, 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 the principal of Sagrada Secondary School uh, why uh, she had failed to, you know, inform him about uh, the application. But uh, the principal, Mrs. Narin, responded by by uh, telling him that, uh, you know, the, 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 the information was passed uh, uh, to, to your office about about a month ago. So it means that I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm just trying to argue. So we don't know whether he only read them for the first time uh, uh, because of the exposure and all that. So next thing, we are told that uh, he is insecure. Uh, so he keeps reading newspapers out of fear that the reporters would write about him mm -hmm. and ruin his name. So he's having some insecurities. And remember, for you to be insecure, it means that you are involved in uh, some of uh, the allegations in one way or the other. So uh, another character, dear students, is a harvester. So what are some of the character roles of harvester? So uh, number one, we are told that harvester builds themes of cruelty and violence. Uh, we are also told that he also brings out styles of irony and satire. We are going to see how. Then he develops mostly uh, as unreasonable and uh, corrupt. Remember, in most cases, it is Avesta who does, uh, uh, you know, uh, let, let us look at uh, his role one more time. So we are told that Avesta is the chief executive officer, is the CEO of Maracas municipality, meaning that uh, they work uh, hand in hand with uh, Mayor Mosi. So he developed uh, Mosi as unreasonable and corrupt. So the first character trait is that he is loyal. We are told that he does exactly what his boss says. So he also buys the newspaper from the vendor as instructed by Mosi. I did as he instructed, sir. That is in uh, page 21. Uh -huh. that, that is the four newspapers that uh, they had during during the uh, the meeting. Uh, the, the, the Caribbean, the, uh, uh, the, the, the watch, the, the Caribbean watch. We had the spotlight and the other two. <laughs> that I'll remember later. So, another uh, character trait of um, of Harvester is that uh, he is knowledgeable. So we are told that he, uh, he knows more about the Samaritan app and how it functions. Uh, remember, he is uh, uh, the one. He's the one who is providing all the information about you know this uh, computer program. And again, how it works and so on. So whenever, uh, whenever uh, the mayor, that is Mosi, is uh, talking about this app and he lacks points of reference, he calls who? He calls uh, Harvester to, you know, give a better uh, uh, explanation. So uh, uh, another thing, uh, so he states that uh, uh, the function of the app is to promote the public good by exposing corruption. And other and other vices. So uh, let us look at Ian Jaden. Ian Jaden. So who is Ian Jaden? So remember, Ian Jaden is a um, principal judge in Maracas municipality. So he's the the principal judge. So some of uh, the roles is that he builds the plot with a twist where he is to offer justice, yet is involved in injustice. 
So remember the work, the work of a principal judge is simply to ensure that uh, justice is served. But uh, there is a plot twist hmm? because he is in, of, involved in injustices, yet he is the one who is supposed to offer justice. Hmm? Hope you're getting it. So you also bring out uh, very many styles that again we're also going to look at uh, in the theme, uh, I mean in the scene, sorry, that is irony. Uh, uh, we also have uh, juxtaposition and suspense. Uh -huh as we wait to see what will happen. So we are going to, uh, you know, expound on those styles when looking at the uh, language and style that we have in the scene. So he also builds other characters such as Mossy, who now uh, blackmails him uh, at, the, at the end. So the character portrayal and roles of uh, Ian Zeden, we have got, uh, uh, number one is enlightened, so he reads newspapers more often uh, because uh, we are told that he got to know how the, how the app works uh, when he came across it in the papers. So when, uh, again, uh, when, Mosi, uh, when Mosi asks uh, uh, the leaders uh, who had, uh, you know, whether, whether some of them have read the newspaper, it is clear that he's the only one who, who had taken time to go through the papers. So he is also corrupt. Uh, we are told that uh, he suggests that editors and reports be given boxes of chocolate that is uh, there to be bribed or manipulated as a way of luring them not to disclose the information they have uh, about them. So at some point when, uh, when uh, responding to uh, you know uh, what uh, Seima uh, uh, had said, he says that what matters is not what you do, but how you do it. Uh -huh. So it means that we can also say that he is a kind of a schemer. So he goes further stating that one can fly into forbidden territory and still get away with it, provided it's done below the Prada. That is on page 29. So this clearly shows that he is ready to justify all injustice in uh, Maraca's municipality. So the leaders uh, are all you know, counting on him to save them when... Uh, there are court cases about them. So he believes in corruption. We are told that he, uh, he believes that the only way to pull down the information from the app is, you know, using the money to influence both the creators and uh, the what, um, the media. So uh, let's look at Ramdai. Remember, Ramdai is the deputy mayor of uh, Maracas municipality. So we are told that um, he is man uh, materialistic and selfish. And again, egocentric. So when we talk about egocentrism, dear students, we are talking about someone who is overly interested in uh, in himself uh -huh, at the expense of others. So uh, he says he cannot raise money when Seymour proposes that they raise money to fight cases uh, that might be brought up against them. So he's also unpredictable because at some point he says that he has no money since he has loans to service. Later on, he states that they take loans or sell their property raise the money so uh, he is uh, uh, you cannot predict uh, what he uh, says next so uh, let us look at uh, you know same so the character roles is that he develops mostly as a selfish corrupt and unreliable character dear students so he also brings out aspects of blackmail and corruption I remember where he blackmails uh, mostly that is by telling mostly that if you fail to budget using, uh, you know, the supplementary. Uh, if you don't come up with a way of uh, getting money uh, uh, or maybe reallocating some funds to help us get money to fight our cases, then you will also sink with us because you are no, you are no better than us. You are all, uh, we are all the same. So you also have stolen money. You also have other, uh, other crimes that uh, you have committed. And furthermore, the crimes that we have committed were under your watch. So he brings the aspect of blackmail and corruption. He also builds the plot when he, say, uh, when he plans to mobilize the members of the council chamber, that is uh, to uh, go for the vote of no confidence uh, to ensure that the, uh, the mayor is uh, removed. So he's a schemer, that is number one. He schemes that the app uh, be alleged that it has a risk of spying on banks and confidential documents of the municipal council. So he's also corrupt. He believes in corruption. He also believes that the only way to pull down the information from the app is by use of money to 
influence uh, the pursuers. So <clears throat> another thing is that he is uh, hopeful, or we can uh, call it optimistic, uh, because he believes that they will manage to fight the case by use of money. Uh -huh. So he believes that they can steal money by relocating funds so as to fight. Okay, so he's still having some hopes that they can get away. They can get away with it. So he's also unre uh, unreliable. Uh, this is seen when matters uh, get worse and turns against Mosi. So um, this is because Mosi is not willing to, uh, you know, to to do as he says. So uh, the two, the two, uh, uh, or the duo. Uh, disagrees. So it tells Moses that they can, uh, you know, hound him out of office. So this is where he came up with with uh, the idea of mobilizing the uh, council. The council uh, chamber. Then let's look at Ted. So we are told that he brings out the themes of fear and betrayal. He also makes Mosi show how abusive and manipulative he can be. Then he also brings out aspects of irony and, uh, and satire. Uh, as we are going to, uh, you know, look at them uh, when looking at the language and style in the scene. So he is fearful. He fears that once everything is tabled in court, they are likely to end up in Barnetta Express prison. So we can also say that he is, uh, you know, hopeless or pessimistic because he uh, already uh, talks about going to prison while the leaders are discussing a uh, way out. Uh, he keeps wondering in fear whether such online allegations can form a basis for prosecution. So he's also a traitor, as well. so he says he cannot be handed to prison. Uh, he distances uh, he distances his, himself from all the rot in the uh, in in Maracas municipality. Sorry. So uh, he says that it's Moses' responsibility for the rot in the municipality. So uh, dear students. Thanks for uh, watching till the end, and uh, I look forward to having you in the next session. Bye.